Is Vive Cosmos worth the money? The HTC Vive Cosmos Elite is an exceptional headset. It not only has excellent build quality and some of the best screens on the market, but it's also lightweight, making it one of our favorite headsets despite its lack of portability. Admittedly, it's an expensive headset that requires a decent amount of space to use to its full potential, but there are few better on the market for the versatility, screen quality, and comfort. While it shines in games like Super Hot and Half-Life Alex, the HTC Vive Cosmos Elite is a well-rounded headset that can be used for production, exercise, and virtual cinema experience. In addition, the flip-up headset design makes it ideal for working collaboratively on a project without feeling cut off from your surroundings, a common issue in VR. Some people prefer the MetaQuest 2 because of its ultra-lightweight design and wireless freedom, but the power of that headset pales in comparison to the Cosmos Elite. If you're interested in the HTC Vive Cosmos Elite and want to know if it's right for you, keep watching our review till the end. And for more VR headset reviews, subscribe to MetaHub. Here we begin. Design The HTC Vive Cosmos Elite features two 1440p panels housed in a large light frame on the device's front. The Cosmos Elite prioritizes comfort and quality, and it excels at both. It's not the most attractive headset in the world, but you won't notice when you're wearing it. The things that really matter in a VR headset, such as how it feels to wear after a long session or how easy it is to remove to talk to someone, are excellent, especially if you're using it as part of your workflow. The key is an adjustable strap, one of the best on the market. Few headsets compete in terms of comfort, which is impressive given the technology inside. Because the headset has an adjustable dial on the back, everyone should be able to find a setting that is comfortable for them. The front of the headset actually flips up, which is great if you're using it for a project that requires you to be in and out of VR frequently. It also makes it much easier to talk to people in your workspace by simply flipping up the front panel. The headphones that come with the headset are good, but could be better. As a result, those who intend to use the VR headset for something that necessitates extreme high quality audio may prefer to use their own headphones. Luckily, these can easily be integrated into the system. Setup and Performance The amount of space you can afford to give the HTC Vive Cosmos Elite is one of the most important factors to determine if it's the headset for you. If you're incorporating it into your workspace, you may need to rearrange a few things. You'll need Frenny of Please space to use the headset to its full potential. Two base stations are used by the Vive Cosmos Elite. These small sensor boxes are placed on either side of the room where you intend to use the headset. They're necessary because they provide better tracking than most other headsets on the market, but they have a few drawbacks. Both base stations must be connected and the cables are relatively short. As a result, you may have to change your setup if you don't have any available power outlets. This isn't a good situation, especially if you're wearing a VR headset. The chances of you tripping over the tangle of cables and crashing through your coffee table is high. The Vive Cosmos Elite also delivers outstanding performance. It's well known as a gaming powerhouse, but also works exceptionally well with productivity software, manufacturing and development apps, and graphic design interfaces. There is virtually no consumer-level hardware that can compete with it in terms of performance versatility. Features and Specifications The HTC Vive Cosmos PC VR headset has the same specifications in both versions. Two 1440x1700 pixel LCD lenses are on display. In addition, you have a refresh rate of 90Hz and a maximum field of view of 110 degrees. These core specifications were pretty good in 2019, competing with the Oculus Rift and Valve Index. However, it has since been outperformed by the HTC Vive Pro 2, the HP Reverb G2, and even the Oculus Quest 2. But as we'll explain when we talk about performances, specs aren't the best and end-all be-all of VR headsets right now. Other features include stereo headphones, an integrated mic, and an adjustable 61 to 73 mm interpopulary distance dial, 6 degrees of freedom controllers, and a weight of 702 grams. Controllers The Valve Index controllers, which are now two years old, are the gold standard in 2023. We've seen a few complaints, but we find them easy to hold with well-positioned buttons, finger tracking, and a good solid 7-8 hours of battery life. In addition, the MetaQuest 2 controllers stand out regarding inside-out tracking. Both Cosmos variants fall short in comparison. The Cosmos Elite is the least offensive of the three. 
The WAN controller has been around for a long time and continues to do an excellent job. It tracks well, it's simple to use, and the 6 hour battery life is adequate. Its main offense is that it hasn't been updated in a long time. Because of the inside-out tracking requirements, the HTC Vive Cosmos controllers are a different beast. They fit in your hands well enough, better than the new Focus 3 variants, and track much better now than they did at launch. But the unusual egg-shaped halo with built-in lighting increases the contact zone and causes a balancing issue. The battery life, on the other hand, is a major disappointment. Each requires two AA batteries, and you'll be lucky to get three hours out of them. That is unacceptable on many levels, not to mention the environmental impact. Price and Release Date The HTC Vive Cosmos was released on October 3rd, 2019, and is now available for $699 at its base package, which includes a 6-camera tracking faceplate. If you want better hand tracking, the Vive Cosmos Elite costs $899 for the headset and faceplate, or $199 for just the faceplate. For comparison, the Valve Index costs $1,000, which is $100 more than the complete HTC Vive Cosmos Elite package, and the Oculus Rift S costs $400, which is around $300 less than the standard issue HTC Vive Cosmos. HTC is also releasing a cheaper version of the headset called the HTC Vive Cosmos Play, which it claims will be comparable in price to other headsets on the market like the Oculus Rift S. Still, it hasn't been released to the public yet, and appears to be designed solely for enterprise use. Something new, however, is being teased on the official HTC Vive Twitter account. Given the Move mention, it's likely that this tease refers to a new tracking extension peripheral that improves movement tracking beyond the WAN-style controllers that come with the headset. However, there is some speculation that could be a completely new headset, and we'll let you know when this is confirmed. Our final words. The Cosmos Advantage is its ability to start as an entry-level headset that you can buy without breaking the bank and evolve over time to a headset that rivals the best on the market. When combined with HTC's Viveport subscription service, you can expect a constantly changing library of fun new titles to try out a headset that looks truly great despite some field of view limitations. That's the story of Cosmos at this point and price point. It's a decent portal into virtual reality, but with a few caveats. Its hand tracking capability could be flawless, and the setup process can be hit or miss. Some games work flawlessly, while others can fail due to pixel perfect tracking. While other inside out tracking headsets, such as the completely untethered Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2, have similar issues and a lower resolution, they are less expensive, less bulky, and can be taken anywhere. The Cosmos Elite is superior to the available HTC Vive Cosmos headset. Even though it uses the original Vive's controllers and Lighthouse base stations, it feels more precise in tracking and thus more practical for most games and apps. So let us know your views and if you would like to see our review in the MetaQuest Pro to distinguish between these two headsets, select the best for you, then stay tuned. Subscribe to MetaHub now! Let's go.